today i will be explaining functions of management from the subject management so welcome to my youtube channel mechanical engineering management let's see the first question functions or sometimes you can say objectives of the management in this figure you can see basically there are five different objectives of the management planning organizing staffing directing and controlling and in this figure you can see all these five different objectives are in the symbolic notation and all are actually the functions of management so this is really very important to understand from the graphics so let's see basically there are five types of the functions of management planning organizing staffing directing and at last controlling so let's see one by one briefly start with the first one planning so from this figure you can understand the planning that is actually the function of management planning is future oriented and determines organization's direction so in another word you can say this will indicate the vision of the organization it is a rational and systematic way of making decisions today that will affect the future of the company so whatever it may be the today's decision that will affect the future of the company it involves predicting of the future as well as attempting to control the events it includes determination of objectives setting rules procedures policies strategies budgeting etc so you can say planning may be short term or may be long term second one organizing organizing requires a formal structure here you can see of the authority here you can see top most is a governing body then secretary then principal then staff committees and these are the lower most part of the structure of the pyramid the direction and flow of such authority through which work subdivisions are defined arrange and coordinated so that each part relates to the other part in a united and coherent manner so as to attain the prescribed objectives so in this direction authority increase and in this direction authority decreases in short organizing involves establishment of the formal structure of authority through which work subdivisions are arranged defined and coordinated to accomplish the defined objectives of the organization next one staffing from this figure you can understand you have to select the proper staff by following the certain procedures that is actually one of the function of the management so staffing involves the process of filling positions in the organization structure as we have discussed in earlier slide there are lots of different positions in the organization structures and you have to fill all these positions by the different processes that is called as staffing so the staffing function relates to the recruitment selection here you can see training promotion and the transfer of employees at all levels of management so it is really a very important role of the management to recruitment of the different person at the proper position and for that selection is a very important role so you have to select the proper or you can say the suitable person among all these different person so that it will be beneficial to the organization the staffing function is different from other functions because it deals only with the people so this is only the procedure where it deals purely with the human resource 
next one directing so here you can see from the figure you can understand it will give the direction the directing function is concerned with the leadership communication motivation and supervision so that the employees perform their activities in the most efficient manner in order to achieve the desired goals so in short you can say directing is one of the function of the management where management gives the direction to the employees to perform their activities in the most efficient manner to achieve the desired goals of the organization it includes formulation of policies and plans which will be useful if it is converted into action it includes making assignments corresponding procedures seeing that mistakes are corrected providing on the job instruction and of course at last issuing orders now the last one controlling so here from the figure you can understand controlling that is one of the function of management the controlling function involves establishment of standard performance measurement of actual performance measuring actual performance with the predetermined standards and finding out the deviations so that is actually in series first establishment of standard performance then measurement of actual performance then find at last the deviation of actual performance with standard performance next taking corrective actions according to that deviations if you have any doubts then write in the comment box i will be back thanks my dear friends for watching this video press the like button to appreciate it